So we're finding the rectangular coordinates of the given polar coordinates 10, uh, 120. So what that means is your radius is 10 and your angle is 120 degrees. So oh, let me do it like this. Here's my, my x, y axis zoomed in on the second quadrant because that's where it's going to be. So the angle is 120 from here. So there's 90 and it's going to be another it's going to be another 30 from there. Right? And then the the distance here is going to be 10. Now I'm not going to this isn't going to be drawn exactly to scale, but I'm just let's see where where's 10? 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So 10's about like that. So it'll be about like that. That's just a rough estimate. So this number here is 10, that distance, that's your radius, that's the first coordinate in a polar coordinate pair. And then 120 degrees is your angle, that's the second coordinate in a polar coordinate pair. So if you, what they want is they want you to find the rectangular. So I draw in, I draw in my line there, I figure out what this angle is right here, that's 60 degrees, or I can use my um, I could use my unit circle and recognize what that is. And so that's essentially what you're doing. What's that point going to be? Now, uh, there's, there's an easier way to do it, of course. You can tell if you figure out what's happening here. You'll you notice that this is just going to be whatever the radius is. You know, your, your, cos, your x is going to be your cosine of the angle, and your y is going to be your sine of that angle. So the cosine of 120 equals um, the x coordinate that I'm trying to find divided by 10, right? So what does that mean your x coordinate equals? Uh, your x coordinate will be 10 cosine 120 and your y and similarly your y coordinate is just going to be 10 sine 120 so your formula for this is um, x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta and that's the kind of the formula the shortcut I wanted to show you how that works but that's the formula for finding the rectangular coordinates given polar coordinates just a simple formula r cosine theta so your cosine um you, you, so you understand you're gonna have to you have to multiply it by 10 because you're not in your unit circle right so this is this is actually going to be r cosine and this is going to be r sine so the bottom would be five yep yeah. so this one's going to be um, yep, one half, or yeah, or you could whoops, or you could also use your your thirty, sixty, ninety triangle. You can do that as well. And if you remember the shortcut for that, if this is ten here, then this has got to be half of that, and this has to be root three times the smaller one. So your so your cosine is, but again, you have to consider what what uh, what quadrant you're in and we're in the second quadrant so it's going to be negative five and it's going to be five root three so, right, thank you. so that's your answer negative five five root three okay uh so then my next question okay so here's another problem now the the radius they're telling you is negative four so this is a little bit of a weird one because you think well how's the radius negative so what you do is you take the five pi over four. So I'm gonna go five pi over four, which is all the way to here. But instead of drawing it here, that would be a radius of four. I'm gonna draw it, whoops, I'm gonna draw it here and call that positive four. It would be negative four in the third quadrant, but then it would be a positive four in the first quadrant. And so your angle would be, instead of five pi over four, your angle here would be pi over four. 
And so the same deal, it's going to be R cosine theta, R sine theta, but in this case, our R is positive 4, and our theta is pi over 4. Positive 4, pi over 4. So if you punch that in, you'll get 2 root 2, comma, 2 root 2. You'll notice if you had used the negative, you hadn't used the negative 4 and the cosine of 5 pi over 4, you actually would have gotten the same answer because you would have had over here, these are both negative. So you have a negative root 2 over 2 here, which multiplies with that negative and becomes a positive 2 root 2. Same with the sine, the y-coordinate. So either way, you would have gotten the same answer.